This is an oldie but a goodie. No. Michael Guitar is really cool. Oh, it's clear on the other side. So I would really be cool. I don't know. Hey, I think we're sitting together on Friday. As far as I know, it's <laughs> the picture. She can never get all the hints. You know, she'll. Yeah, my picture. She's got a picture. She's got a picture. She's got a picture. She's got a picture. I'm going to go ahead and call this February 7th meeting of the Salina City Commission order. Would the clerk please call the roll? Mayor Peck. Here. Commissioner Angel. Here. Commissioner Jennings. Here. Commissioner Larson. Here. Commissioner Veneer. Here. Would you please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before we get started today, I'd like to uh, publicly thank Commissioner Veneer for uh, being so gracious as to come back and uh, serve time on this commission again and fill in for Commissioner, uh, former Commissioner Arpke. So thank you very much for your You're service. Welcome. My pleasure. I'd like to also open this up right now for the Citizens Open Forum. Uh, if there's anyone here to come up and discuss or ask questions about something that is not on today's agenda. Doesn't look like anyone's here for that today. We'll move on to awards and proclamations. Item 4.1, the month of February 2011 as National Ambux Month in the City of Salina. Karen Vidrickson, new Network Ambux pres president, will read the proclamation. Hi, Karen. Hi, thank you, Mayor and Commissioners. Proclamation to pro proclaim the month of February 2011 as National Ambux Month. Whereas AMBUX is dedicated to creating mobility and independence for people with disabilities. And whereas the recognition of AMBUX is an organization making an important difference in the community across the United States as a noteworthy event. And whereas the city of Salina is proud to boast two chapters of AMBUX, Salina AM Breakfast Bandits and the Noon Network AMBUX. Whereas Noon Network Chapter of AMBUX is a chapter now celebrating 19 years of service Salina AM chapter is now celebrating 52 years of service. And when, whereas the city of Salina is proud to be the home of AMBUC's past national president, Tom Loudis, and district governor, 5D, Vicki Tangeman. And whereas each of the chapters have various community projects in which they participate, such as fund, funding and building fully accessible playgrounds in public parks and schools, financial assistance to children and adults with disabilities, building ramps to individual homes, providing therapeutic Amtrikes for children, and funding scholarships for students in physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and language pathology degree programs. Now therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Salina, City of Salina, Kansas, hereby proclaim the month of February 2011 as National AMBUC Month in the city of Salina and urge all citizens to become more aware of the altruistic service and the wholesome upbuilding of communities they render. Adopted this seventh day of February, 2011, by the Board of Commissioners of the City of Salina, Kansas. Signed by Aaron G. Peck, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us about any special events or efforts that you guys uh, are undertaking this month? Yes, during the month of February, we will have our Amtrikes on display at Chiropractic Wellness Center, Center to have the community be able to come in and see what we provide. On the 16th, our chapter will be uh, pre jumping in the polar plunge. <laughs> We're participating in that, raising funds for that. And then on the 23rd, we will also be volunteering at the Kansas Special Olympics. Very good. I have a signed copy of this proclamation. Thank you. 
Item 4.2, the month of February 2011 as Black History Month in the City of Salina. Reverend Larry Jones will read the proclamation. Hello, Reverend Jones. Hello to the mayor and to the city commissioners. Uh, whereas Black History Month is an opportunity for all Americans to honor the rich cultural language, heritage, and legacy of the people of African descent and pay tribute to them in the community organization that contribute to the social, cultural, economic, and political, political life of Salina. And whereas the citizens of Salina have been in the forefront of efforts to establish a caring, compassionate society based on an in, inherent dignity of all its members by taking a leadership role aimed at eliminating all forms of discrimination and disadvantages and by recognizing that a fundamental strength of our community is based on the diversity among us. Now, therefore, I, Aaron Peck, Mayor of the City of Salina, do hereby proclaim the month of February 2011, Black History Month, and urge that every citizen of Salina join me in celebrating the diversity and character of our community and highlight the importance of sharing our cultural customs and tradition with those around us. And witness thereof, I have run to set my hand and cause the seal of the city of Salina, Kansas, to be affixed this day, February the 7th, 2011. Aaron Peck, Mayor of the City of Salina. Very good. Thank you. Can you tell us uh, about some of the events yes. uh, you have planned for this month? Yes. Um, February the 19th, NAACP Freedom Fund Banquet at the Ramada Conference Center, 1616 West Crawford. Keynote speaker will be Kevin Miles, president of the Kansas State Conference of Units. Uh, meet and greet will be from 5 p.m. until 5.45 p.m. Program begins at 6 p.m. Tickets are um, $35 for adults and $10 for youth. For ticket or other information, call or email Earl Best at 820-8399 or, uh, e or Earl7 at Cox.net. February 1st to the 31st. Black History Displays will be at the Salina Saline County Building on the second floor entrance, um, Salina Post Office, and at the NC NAACP Freedom From Banquet. February 26, 9 a.m., George Washington Carver Celebration in Minneapolis, Kansas. Program be begins at the Ottawa County Museum with a film about Dr. Carver and a display. At 10 a.m., we will move to the Presbyterian Church for a program honoring Mr. Carver and his legacy. Lunch will be served at 12 p.m. USD 305, teachers from each high school and classroom will decide on what they will do for Black History Month. Um, February 27, Quail United Methodist Church, 725 Comanche Avenue, will have a Black History program celebrating Mr. Joe Jackson. This program begins at 1230 and the public is invited. And also, uh, February 27th at 330, New Jerusalem Baptist Church will be having a Black History Month program as well. May have been easier for me to ask you the days you weren't doing anything, yeah. <laughs> but uh, sounds like a fun month. Um, I have a signed copy of this proclamation. All right. we'll move on to awards and proclamations. Excuse me, public hearings and items scheduled for a certain time. Item 5.1, public hearing and report on petition number 4333, requesting the vacation of a 20-foot north-south utility easement located on lot 5, block 1 of the Great Plains edition, sub item 5.1a, first reading ordinance number 11-10589. Go ahead and open the public hearing. Mr. Andrew. Thank you, Mayor and Commissioners. Uh, this is a public hearing on a petition that was filed by Roy Applequist on behalf of Great Plains Manufacturing. As you may be familiar, uh, their corporate offices are on the north side of East North Street, east of Ohio, and they're uh, exploring options for expanding onto those corporate offices. Um, there was a great deal of effort expended in 2008 to get this property accurately mapped and utilities located, and uh, it's been determined that a north-south easement that contains overhead power lines is in the path of potential addition. Uh, so this petition has been filed to vacate that easement. Uh, terms and agreements were uh, reached with West Star and Cox Cable. They're the only utilities that are currently located in that easement. And uh, this request was filed and uh, 
they're agreeable to it as long as there's an alternate place for them to go and the owners agreed to pro provide a new easement over uh, right next to Idlewild which will open up an area for an expansion. So the uh, request before you today is to take the 20-foot north-south easement that bisects the lot, eliminate it by vacation, and then a follow-up action would be to accept the easement that's been signed by Mr. Applequist there in your packet, and that would be the substitute easement for the relocated power and cable lines. Uh, with that, I'd be open to any questions you have, and uh, Mr. Hall is here representing Great Plains if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Are there questions of staff? None? Okay. Is there any public comment? James Hall, 1525 East North Street. Um, as Dean said, we've worked with West Star and with Dean and with Cox and have come to an agreement that everybody enjoys and likes and we're just here asking today for your blessing of it. If there's any questions of me, I'd be happy to answer. Okay. Thank you. No further questions? Okay. And close the public hearing and I'll accept the motion. We need just, do we need, we just need one motion on this? That would take care of it in this okay. circumstance. Thank you. May I move that we adopt on first reading ordinance number 11-10589 and that we accept the offered utility easement dedication for the relocated portion of the overhead power and cable TV lines. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt ordinance number 11-10589. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes five to zero. Fall into the consent agenda. Item 6.1, approve the minutes of January 24th, 2011. Item 6.2, approve the minutes of January 26, 2011. Item 6.3, acknowledge receipt of a special law enforcement trust fund report. Item 6.4, resolution number 116801, appointing Darren Newshafer and Jeff Mays to the Salina Airport Authority. Is there any item a commissioner has a question on or would like to see removed from the consent agenda? If not, I'll accept a motion. Mayor, I move that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we uh, accept the consent agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes five to zero. Is there any further business today? No, there's not. Okay. Move motion. we adjourn. Okay. Second. It's been uh, moved and seconded that we adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. We are adjourned.